here we go. The fourth trial. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies in my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. Don't look him in the eyes. Just shoot. Come on, think of Sean. Think of Sean. I didn't come all this way just to stop now. I've got to go through with it, for Sean. I never used a gun. How hard can it be? All I have to do is pull the trigger. Kill a man. I'm gonna kill a man to save my son. What kind of a choice is that? The guy's a dealer, a goddamn dope dealer. People die as a result of his actions. Sean's life is worth more than that. Let's hope he's home alone. I can't just kill a guy in cold blood like that. Shit, I can't. I can't. He opens up, I shoot. I get the hell out of there and I don't look back. What you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? God, I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! Oh shit! Hey, if you're in a house and you miss with a shotgun like that, you should be using a gun. children. These my girls, see? This one's Sarah, and a little one, that's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. <laughs> Damn, it's kind of a tough choice. I can't shoot this man. There must be another way to save Sean. There's gotta be another way. This guy is just a lowlife who sells dope to kids. What's keeping me from killing this scumbag to save my son? The fact that he's I'm not got a kids. murderer. I have no right to take this guy's life. We're both fathers, for Christ's sakes. I can't kill him to save my son. He's got a family just like me. How can I take his life to save my son's? I've got to kill this guy if I want to save Sean. I have no choice. He's a drug dealer, just scum. He wouldn't hesitate for a second if he was in my place. That could be true. I don't know this guy. He means nothing to me. I have to shoot. It's his life or Sean's. Well, 
Well, his kids would be better off being under child services, adopted by some other parents. He's a drug dealer. Sells drugs that actually kill people. Yep. Yeah, fuck it, we're taking him out. I'm a father too. But I have no choice. I don't know if I got this trophy when I the first time I played this. There's like a serious gunfight in this room, so people are going to find out about this. And the gun grip. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I, I haven't, this is the only, first time I killed him, so I just got that trophy. I'm a killer. Matt, it's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. I'm gonna act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. Never trust an old dude with a Hawaiian shirt. Those dudes got pervert rooting all over them. Like quagmire. Giggity, giggity. So, you're looking for Betropin, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. 
Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. Kinda wants me to drink so bad. I'm not gonna lie, he actually looks like my doctor. That's the crazy part. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I met a guy at a party. He popped some betropin. Told me he got it from you. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. This dude also looks like that one cult leader. You're not drinking? Uh... Yeah, sure I am. Oh, no. No, oh, no, I said no! God damn it! I was in trouble. <laughs> God damn it! Didn't your mother ever warn you about accepting gifts from strangers? <laughs> I press no. Fuck off. God damn. Yeah, but anyway, he looks like that cult leader, the cult that's called, uh, Heaven's Gate or some, where they, like, believe in, like, some kind of comet being a spaceship. Ah. Say hello to Matthew. And then he died with a bunch of others because he, he did a mass the suicide. Census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marvel Street apartment. I read it to my friend Paco, if you must know. Paco the Taco. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold up. Here's my sting. Oh, shit. Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. There's gotta be a way out of this. Oh shit, that was easy. It's a 
an old man. How hard can it be? I mean, he's got weapons, so... I was gonna check out all that stuff, but I somehow said yes to the drink. Norman Jaden, FBI. Cuba trips came. Got it in my pocket. 24 hours. I've got less than 24 hours if I want to find Sean Mars still alive. <sighs> Feeling sick. Got the sweats. Hands are shaking. Hope this works out all right. Blake wasn't in the office when I left. Don't think I'm going to miss him. Better have a word with a guy on the bulldozer. Goddamn rain. Soaking wet. Jeez, won't this rain ever let up? I won't be coming here on vacation. That's for goddamn sure. Mad Jack is suspected of stealing the car I'm looking for. Might be worth asking him a few questions. Mad Jack, a.k.a. Jackson Neville. This guy's got a criminal record of lines my arm. Better be careful. This is one fucked up sort of place. I'll question Neville and get the hell out of here. A scrapyard. Good a place as any to tinker with stolen cars. Go ahead and walk in. Hey, Cracker! What you doing in there? Really, man? No, I'm gonna be Jayden, racist. FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, or whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from me. Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory of me. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scare me with your big talk? I never saw your damn car. Take a walk. That rhymed.
The blue Chevrolet is my only lead. I don't trust this guy. Not much help, this so-called Mad Jack. He's either clean as a whistle, or else he's got something to hide. their blood here. The blood tracks lead to the acid bath. We'll check that out later. We need to find out about that card. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Has the killer's car been here? Oh, yeah, there's some paint over there. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack size. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. One size smaller than my feet. Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jack's. <sighs> oh, cool. This game takes place in Philadelphia. Gary, coming. Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Yep, the killer was here. There's orchid pollen. A few traces of blue paint, same tire tracks. No doubt about it. The killer's car was here. Let's check out that acid bath. Oh shit, the human skull. One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off.
Enough fucking around. Now you're gonna tell me about the man with the blue car. Go fuck yourself in the ass. Oh, I'm gonna hit. Uh, broke my fucking nose, pig. Damn. Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. You will scare me with the CSI. You ain't got it in you. Damn! Out your motherfucking mind, man! <laughs> oh shit, Jack! Ain't nothing to it, just a little bit of self-defense. Page one of the police manual. Kill or be killed. Whoa, 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 uh, stop, enough. I'm starting to remember some things. You, you be cool, uh, I'll tell you the tale. No, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the questioning kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything? Oh shit. Shit. Man. Here we go. Anything you say can and will be. Hey. <laughs> you look like you got a problem, man. Uh, no, this is one of the toughest parts in the game. I actually got this right the first time. Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, shit. Oh, there's only four buttons. Holy shit, I did it. Turn around. <sighs> I thought that was more buttons. Scott Shelby. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Ah, poor Manfred. We'd just been toast in the old days. Didn't bring him much luck. The old days. Looks like someone else's life to me now. Some nerve, that girl. <laughs> Some nerve. How strange seeing Carter after all these years. Hasn't changed a bit. Still a twisted fuck. Conveniently, two eggs. Oh, hold up. Are you gonna add butter first? They're gonna stick. 
Yeah, add butter or spray or something. They're gonna stick. Hmm, that one dial controls one burner. That's crazy. That would suck. Egg should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But Lauren, wait. Get back here. Fine, I'll eat your eggs. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but... Yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. Found somebody. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was ten. What are you gonna do now? Pick up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. Time to look for John Shepard's grave. Excuse me. I'm looking for the it's grave cold. of a young boy it's raining. about 30 years ago. I'm standing ago. outside getting John soaked. Shepherd. Oh, how I love you know my job. Is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. 
Thanks. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, in pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. Gotta hand it to her. That girl is one really determined chick. Irish plot? What? For the grave of a boy named John Shepherd. Straight ahead, a little further on. Thanks. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. In 77, October, I think. Flashback. We're going to the 70s. Yeah, good for nothing, hoodlums. Get the hell out of here. God, beat it, you lousy, no good crap. Come back when your fucking mother comes home from work. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. A little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. <laughs> Bet you can't catch me! Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. John's right. We can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. Trying, what the hell? Oh, okay. Come on! I told you to watch your head. <laughs> you dumbass. Jeez, <laughs> you're nothing but a slow boat.
Drone is going too fast. He never waits for me. The construction site Jeez, is empty. Next for a, a great playground. Jeez, you're in nothing but a slow boat. What have you say? Come on, loser. What you doing? You're coming or not? I think you went down here. I always have the fear of landing on my nuts, climbing up something like that. Try to find me, okay? I 
can't get him out. did find any help. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. <laughs> there she goes again, surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave after all these years? There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. Oh. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. 